Hey everybody, welcome back. Special unboxing time for Tuesday. And today we're here with something I'm very excited about. It's not a subscription box. I used to do these on Sundays, but now when I get them, I'm gonna throw them in Tuesday. Um, for now, to, you know, things are changing on this channel. Just bear with me. But today I got a very special, awesome package. I was very excited for it because I saw a lot of other people getting them like all weekend. And then mine showed up and I was like, yes! I did a trailer reaction to this movie and today I'm very excited. I got the promotional package and a copy of the movie. So we're gonna review it for Doors. So, uh, for those of you that don't know, Epic Pictures Group is a independent film distribution company. They put out some amazing movies, and I'm not sponsored, I'm not paid for. They do send me these movies for free. They thought they enjoy my, uh, my enjoyment of their content so much that they do send me nice little promotional packages, and I very much appreciate it. I get to see all these awesome movies, some of which I never would have noticed if it wasn't for them. Like, they saw my trailer reaction to The Wave, which is amazing, by the way. Justin Long and Donald Faison, timey-wimey, you need to see it. So then they sent me Butt Boy, and I thought, oh, it's because I'm butts, but that's amazing, too. One of the best noir crime thrillers I've seen in ages, but there's a little bit of weirdness. And then, of course, they go on to show me things like U-237, which was fantastic war movie, um, documentary, uh, The Rise and Fall of Vampiro, A Nail in the Coffins, what that's called, was awesome. And, of course, Uncle Frickin' Peckerhead, Uncle Peckerhead is the actual name, Great, one of the greatest movies I've seen in a long time with in, in a phenomenal soundtrack and duh is in the studio. So I'm terribly excited for that. But I have occasionally, I do do their trailer reactions, of course. By the way, Swerve should have gotten Oscar nominations. I don't know what happened there. Um, but I do do the trailer reactions and this one I have seen the trailer for, this is Doors. I didn't even see it on their site. I saw it on my main sites and I was like, oh, it's Epic Pictures, awesome. And I'm very excited to see this movie. Uh, the trailer looked amazing. But now I'm excited to see what we get in this awesome package, which is unfortunately very covered by a lot of mailing labels. It's my P.O. box, so don't worry about seeing the address there. Um, but I do like this. The box isn't quite as nice as the Sacrifice box with Barbara Crampton, but um, I'm anxious to get in here and see it. Looks like they have a lot of stuff taped up though, so I gotta cut a lot of, no, I don't have to cut a lot of tape pieces. Nope, should be good. Is that, all right, cool. So obviously we have the movie, we'll have the Blu-ray in here. I assume. <laughs> this is on digital now. Uh, as a matter of fact, before I jump in here, let's see, uh, just wanna check this out. Oh, come on, phone, work with me. I think this might be coming out today. Doors, Blu-ray, release date, April 6th. This is coming out today. Oh, it's my birthday, by the way. Hey, I am now the answer to the universe as of this day. So welcome, <laughs> this is all perfect synergy. Um, so yeah, this is out on Blu-ray today. It's been on digital for a little while if you wanna check it out, so you can do that. So first out of this box, we get a confidential envelope. Ooh, fancy pantsy. Fancy freaking pantsy. But it's not even sealed, it's not very confidential. Let's see what's in here, let's hope there's nothing. That's what I figured. So this is gonna be the letter we'll read at the end. We'll take a better look at that later. And, uh, ooh, I literally just filmed my reaction to this. I can't wait. Oh, what? All right, I know in my next round of reactions what I'm gonna be looking for. We'll, we'll look more at that in a minute, too. I don't wanna, oh, that's kinda cool. I'm, I'm curious about that. I, I just, okay, neat. All right, so nothing else in there. Um, we'll, we'll come back to all that at the end of the video, though, because that's more of the end stuff. So let's see what else we got in here. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a decent amount of stuff in here, actually. This is a, that's a pretty full prize pack. There is a movie though, right? Yeah, there it is, okay. <laughs> All right, next we have, oh geez, a survival kit. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that, I'm getting blinded by this pencil. Do I have to tear it open? Oh, can I just see if it's just, okay. I don't want to open this because, um, ooh, pretty. I bet it's doing some real interesting things now. <laughs> uh, but this is nice. I will have to tear this open. I don't necessarily want to do that. Oh, actually, it's kind of torn on the side. <laughs> but look at the color of that pencil. Oh, actually, I can get the pencil out without breaking the box. And then I've got a notebook here. Um, I did kind of peek. The notebook just has the Doors logo on it. So that's probably something to do with the movie. So that's kind of cool. And you know, I mean, I can always use a little pencil and paper action, so I'm not too too worried, too upset with that. Plus this awesome, cool ba ba a little box bag. I speak English good. This is why I do YouTube. <laughs> all right, wait, all these are like sealed packs as if we're going to space. This is pretty freaking cool. I like how they're doing that. So now we got survival kit number two, and this is where the movie is, and oh, wow. Okay, okay, this, okay. This may be one of the best uh, packages they've ever sent out. This is really cool. I mean, it's hard to top swerve because they gave me booze, 
And uh, Sacrifice also had booze. Astronaut ice cream, do you? What the crap? I've never had that. We will do a taste test of that. Not in this video, but... I mean, well, in this video, just not in this section. This one I am going to tear open because I need to get it all that goodness in there. kind of hate to, though. These bags are so attractive. <laughs> yes. I have never had astronaut ice cream. So Neapolitan ice cream sandwich. Freeze-dried, ready-to-eat space food. Yeah, we're definitely going to taste test before we do the movie review. So you can look forward to that here coming up. Nice. I'm kind of excited. Maybe Mayor will taste test that with me too. And of course we have the movie itself. Let me get this out the way. And there's the close-up. Um, I will read this and show you the trailer in just a minute. But for right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. And yes, for those of you Drake and Josh fans, this does show, uh, star Josh Peck. So that's really cool. Or if you were like a fan of his on Vine like I was. From the team that brought you Becky, Southbound, and the VHS Trilogy. That is a strong team. That's really cool. Again, I will read you the trailer. We'll, we'll look at this a little bit more in just a second. But let's move on. There's more stuff in here. There's so much stuff in here. We have survival kit number three. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's also like petals. So I think, okay. So then the rest of the box, there's just some like rose petals. So that's kind of interesting. I think those are synthetic. I don't think those are real. Survival kit number three. This, this, this is the best box they have ever sent. There's booze. We got a cocktail with a lot of juice. So let's open this up. Let's open up survival kit number three. Dude, food, movie, booze, pencil, paper, and some other little cool goodies. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Dread and, uh, and Epic Pictures Group. I love y'all, I appreciate this so much. Especially for me where I don't, you know, it's not like my, my stuff gets that much in the way of views. Just, you know, but I just like doing this. Oh, this is tequila. Nice. All right, so, oh, we got, oh, okay. So we got like a whole herb packet. Interesting. Smells interesting. And we got tequila. No idea what brand, but you know what? Screw it. We'll drink it. We'll make it for the movie. And strawberry margarita. Okay, so we're going to do kind of a strawberry margarita. I'm down with that. I love me some margaritas. I love these bags, too. That paper is just crazy nuts. All right, so I assume the other thing is going to tell me about the drink. But before we get to all of that, let's see. Let's show you this stuff. <clears throat> so, this is kind of cool. We get an actual photo, I mean, from the movie, but we get a photo of Josh Peck, so it's like, you could like, take this and get it signed at a convention or something, and he'd be like, oh, where'd you get that? And I'd be like, I'm one of the cool people that like, gets the thing. Wish I hadn't pulled the thing away, though. So yeah, this, I can already tell you, looks amazing. Um, I've already watched the trailer, you'll see that, or will have seen that. It might, I might have even put it out today. I'm not sure what my actual release schedule is. And this, I want to see more of. I have no idea but I'm definitely gonna be checking that out. Now let me take a quick look at this, make sure I'm allowed to show you all, there's nothing on here. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna let you read through this and then I'm gonna read through this while we show you the trailer. I'll read it out loud. This is just for those of you that like to see everything that is included. This also has the cocktail thing and everything too. So, all right, here comes the trailer. Boom, agent. Oh, let's start here, doors. Top secret clearance needed beyond this point. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Agent, you have been assigned a new mission to investigate a strange phenomenon. Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Uh, without warning, millions of mysterious alien doors have suddenly appeared around the globe. In a rush to determine the reason for their arrival, mankind must work together to understand the purpose of these cosmic anomalies. This is where you come in. We have issued you various kits in order to survive this dangerous mission. We encourage you to document and post on all, all social media as you open each kit for your doors journey. Survival kit number one. You will need these materials in order to assimilate and blend in with the targets. Be careful and take notes. Survival kit number two. We have provided you with what we on Earth refer to as Blu-rays, a very sought after item full of information and special features. Please make sure to watch the footage provided and rate and review online. There is also something for you to eat if you need a snack during your journey. Survival kit number three. We figured you might be thirsty from all the travel, so we have provided a cocktail to keep your spirits up. 
See instructions below. The cocktail is called Doors on the Radio. Ingredients, glass with ice, strawberry margarita mix, tequila, edible slash coaster slash organic rosebuds and petals. Instructions, take out your phone and start documenting. In a glass with ice and tequila, add strawberry margarita mix to taste. Mix, garnish with some edible slash coaster slash organic rosebuds and petals to taste. Enjoy and post on social media. Doors is available on demand everywhere now and will be available on Blu-ray on April 6, 2021. That's today, my birthday. Please rate, review, and spread the word on this and share on socials using hashtag Doors Film and tagging slash following at Epic Pictures Group, at Sean Pe uh, Shaw Peck, and at Lina Esco, and at TV on the Radio. Good luck. Over and out. Epic Pictures Group. And I should also tell you that Doors, from the team that brought you Becky, Southbound, and the VHS Trilogy, Josh Peck, Lena Esco, Wilson Bethel, and Kip Malone, Without warning, millions of mysterious alien doors suddenly appeared around the globe. In a rush to determine the reason for their arrival, mankind must work together to understand the purpose of these cosmic anomalies. A string of bizarre incidents that occur in the proximity of these sentient doors lead humanity to question its own existence and that of an altered reality as it attempts to enter them. That sounds so cool, dude. Uh, directed by... Sam and Kesh Dugan, O'Neill, Jeff Dessal. Oh, that's right, there's like three directors on this. That's kind of interesting. Uh, this is 81 minutes, not rated, so it's gonna be super tight. It's not gonna be dull at all. They said there are special features. I don't see any listed, but I would be surprised if there aren't special features. All right, well, that's all of that said and done, so let's get to the fun, shall we? Let's watch. All right, so, uh, as promised, we've already seen the movie. Mary, 30 second review, 10 second review. Uh, I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. It, it kind of was a, felt like a, a low budget um, annihilation. Yes, I mentioned that in my part of the review, but uh, <laughs> which actually will come up after this. Oh, yeah, well, whatever. We liked the movie. You'll find out. Let me get a little more light. So we're gonna try this astronaut ice cream because she wanted to try it too, as I expected. I've shown them in the box. They know what it looks like in the unboxing. All right, so just go ahead and open it. Yeah, yeah, just tear in there. Uh, I'm in the midst of doing way too many video games, trying to get ready for my birthday. Okay. So I don't have to work. It looks like an ice cream bar. It sounds crumbly. Well, yeah, dehydrated, so. All right, so, so we can open this without making a huge mess. Mm, I doubt it. Yeah. Looks like you've already started making a mess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, Something tells me she's not used to opening ice cream bars. No, it's a little broken up, but not too bad. All right. Oh, Lordy. Oh, it's, it's definitely coming apart. Yeah, well, you know, it's dehydrated. Oh, I'll so. take it by the chocolate. Here. Oh, she's going chalky. I'm going chalky, too, because... Let's, oh, let's see if I can save you some. Then. Well, I don't care. Oh. If I get vanilla, it's fine. It, uh, Neither one of us have ever had this. We're both it's rather... Very, oh, it's breaking apart the top here. <laughs> we're both very curious. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got super crumbly. I don't know if that's because it's old or because it's supposed to do that. It's good until February of 24. <laughs> I'm not sure what I think of that. Uh, that's not something I'd ever buy for myself. No, I guess I'd buy it for myself, but I mean, it tastes pretty good. But it really just kind of tastes like chocolate cookie. Like even the ice cream kind of just tastes like cookie. Like the kind of cookie filling you get. I just had a piece of uh, the mostly vanilla with some of the cookie attached to it. Yeah, I really don't get any of the vanilla flavor. The cookie's kind of really overpowering it all. It, it is. It's good. I mean, like, I'd eat it if it's there. Let's see. But, um. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, I might as well take it. You, you go for that. You whatever. I was, well, oh, well. I didn't communicate. It was, it looked like it was two pieces. I was gonna break the little one off. I thought you wanted to take the little one. I, then I was like, no, you go ahead and take the little one and I'll take the bigger piece and you just threw the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> I think there's some strawberry flavor there. Yeah. Mm, kind of like um, a really thick 
like like cereal marshmallow. That's kind of what I get from it. Like that kind of reminds me of like a really thick Frankenberry marshmallow. <laughs> Did you ever eat your Frankenberry? No. I always buy it every year just in case I want it and then I never eat cereal, but I do love it. Frankenberry is probably my favorite cereal, or at least top three. But um, yeah, I mean, it's good. I appreciate the opportunity to try it. Yeah, yeah. But like you said, I, I saw it as a kid growing up, and but my parents never bought it for me. I think it's one of those more like novelty for kids and stuff. Um, yeah, there's much better snacks I'd rather spend my calories on, but again, I appreciate the opportunity to try it. What 130 for the sandwich. 130, that's not, I mean, that's about an ice cream sandwich, but you know what? I'd rather have an ice cream sandwich and I'm not an astronaut. So there. Yeah. All right, next I will make this drink and then I'll drink it. <laughs> Before we watch the movie, we've already told you we love. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in a second. Okay, so it is almost 4 a.m. It's technically my birthday. It's still the day before. I have to be quiet while I make the drink. But then we'll come up here where I can talk about it while I try it. Mary's asleep and she has to work tomorrow, so let me be a little bit quiet. But I do have the ingredients basically there. I've just finished a bunch of wine. So we're gonna mix this up and then I'll go upstairs and give you my opinions of it. But I want you to see the mixing. So we know we need, uh, let's see. Plus, I don't want the knockers to hear me when I open that door. Uh, we need a glass, ice, don't know how much, tequila, all of it. Uh, margarita mix to taste, which is however much fits in the glass. Garnish with some edible buds and petals. Okay, I'll do a little bit for the for the video, but not a lot. I don't like edible buds and petals. Uh, and then we're just gonna stir it, and we'll go upstairs. So I'm gonna set this right here. Pardon the way I look. I have literally done like eight hours of video game let's plays and all kinds of toy unboxings and editing, and I've still got a movie to watch and review. And oh, not doors. I've already watched doors. It's great. Okay, let me go get the glass. in there.
I say girly? That's dumb. I was trying to make fun of myself. I failed. Let's put a koozie on it. Boom. Drunken movie night. Let's go. Okay, let's go upstairs where I can actually talk about it. Okay. It is 4.07 a.m. Let's try it. Hmm. Immediately I got a piece of uh, rose or bud or something up my sleeve. Up my, <laughs> up my sleeve. Up my straw. I don't necessarily like that. Flavor's pretty good though. It's a really good strawberry margarita mix. I wish I'd had some sugar for my rim. I only have like salt and tahini. I don't think tahini would work here. Pro tip, by the way, if you've never put tahini on your rim instead of salt for a margarita, you're missing out. It's a new discovery of mine. So much so that I've also been taught, throw it on cucumbers. Also, throw it on cucumbers with lime juice and Valentina hot sauce. Also, throw it on pineapple. And then I did a jalapeno deviled egg for Easter, and I seasoned the, you know, I doused it with tahini at the end. Whew, that was awesome. But this is really tasty. Granted, I think it's mostly just the strawberry margarita mix, so I don't know what they use, but that's pretty damn yummy. Margaritas were, have become my latest cock, until just recently, my latest cocktail obsession. I've been on a big margarita kick, but now I've gotten into mar martinis. So, you know, like filthy, dirty martinis. You know what, I just wanna just, I need a haircut and I'm 42 now and that's what I'm gonna look like. But thank you, thank you Epic Pictures, thank you Dread. I think I'm gonna give myself one more quarantine haircut and then I think by then I should be vaccinated and feel comfortable going out and getting a real one. Anyways, thank you. You know, you know what Dread? This is how much I love you at Epic Pictures and everybody over there. Your drink was my first cocktail of being 42 years old. And it's delicious, so thank you for that. I do love my margaritas. Okay. I gotta watch a Resident Evil movie for other, for my YouTube membership reviews. In case you're curious, I'm doing the entire Resident Evil franchise, animated movies and all, and I'm gonna play some of the light gun games or something before the new game comes out, so you might wanna be a YouTube member. And that's at the base tier, just FYI. All right, so, all right. Literally, I just rendered everything except this section of this video that comes out on my channel in 10 hours. So I need to get this edited, uploaded, and scheduled. <sighs> Thank you. Good thing I have booze. <laughs> Great movies, booze, and snacks. How can I not love y'all? All right, see ya, bye. All right, so we got to watch Doors the other night. Uh, Mary watched it with me. We did it on like a giant 125 inch screen, and big old surround, and man, was it an event. Um, this movie is awesome. I hoped it was awesome. I went in with some high expectations and I was not disappointed. I would say I had a couple of things that like I kind of wanted to happen that didn't, but it didn't ruin it in any way for me. Um, and this is a, it's more of an anthology than I thought it was gonna be, but I really appreciated that. And I thought all the stories were very engaging and gripping. There's a little bit of, there's, there's there's a couple of shots that are really bad green screen. I will tell you that. And a lot of that is because they just didn't match the black levels with what they put on, you know, what they keyed in and the character's clothing. And it just makes it really noticeable. But that's really my only complaint here. Um, outside of that, this is the kind of hard sci-fi that I absolutely adore. Um, you know, it's very science. It's very, asks a lot of questions, only gives you a few answers and lets you think about the rest yourself, which I really, really appreciate. I love those kind of movies that just engage me and keep me thinking about it for days and days and days. And uh, my dad loves that kind of sci-fi as well. So I'm definitely lending him this copy so he can watch this because um, I know this is going to be one that he absolutely loves. Mary said it kind of reminded her a lot of... Um, not Arrival, what was what was the other one? Uh, uh, Annihilation, uh, with like Natalie Portman and stuff. And I thought, yeah, it has some similar kind of tone and atmosphere going on. Definitely a different story. Um, I do very, very much like the story. And at first, there's some sort of filmy elements of how certain things talk to certain things that I was like, I don't know, I don't know that I like that. And then there's also some elements where it's like, oh, okay, hello, exposition guy. 
but I feel like at the end of the day, all that got paid off really well, and you kind of end up going with it, and it works and brings kind of a unique, interesting arts, artistic style to the actual filmmaking that's happening. Um, performances and everything are pretty darn good. I think if anything, I would have liked to have just had more. Um, you know, I want to learn more about it. I wanted more with some of these characters. I wanted to see more of where their story goes, which is good because it's like music. You know, you hear a song and you didn't quite get enough, so you want to play it again. You know. Um, so I really, really enjoyed that as well. And again, pacing wise and everything, it's like a tight 81 minutes or something. It, it could have been a good chunk longer. <laughs> and I guess I would have liked to have, uh, this is mildly spoilery, just mildly, structurally spoilery. spoilery. Um, I would have liked to have seen, here, if you don't wanna know, I'm gonna do this. And as soon as I say it, I'll, I'll pull this down so you can just mute for like a second. I would have liked to have seen the uh, short stories kind of all tie more together and pay off in the end, like into one big story. But other than that, I mean, that that's like the expectation I was talking about. So I, did, I, I was a little not disappointed with that, but that's like my only thing. And again, that's just me being like super greedy because I wanted more because I was loving what I was getting. Um, yeah, the opening story is pretty good. And again, um, you know, it feels nice and there's some terrifying real world implications that you might think it is at first, although they do kind of joke about it awkwardly, but that's how it would really be. So I can appreciate that as well. And, um, you know, in the second story, yeah, that was, that's the one where it gets kind of nolan -y, you know, Inception, not Inception, but uh, uh, Interstellar-ish. And I really like that too. And I like the story they're telling there and how they went about the structure of telling the story. But then I think the third story, there's like four stories. The third story I think is the most interesting and definitely does some quite shocking things and like some characters that are intentionally supposed to get under your skin, get under your skin. And, um, you know, all the resolutions of all those things are pretty nice. So, you know, I think that's pretty cool. Although I, I do feel like, again, I want more of that story. I want to see where that story continued going. I wanted to see where all these stories continued going. And definitely the one with Josh Peck, I think, is probably the most interesting story-wise. Because, you know, it brings up some really interesting questions and has a very interesting resolution um, of what the story we get in there is. So... Yeah, this was a great one. This is one of those, like, when I start raving about epic picture groups and Dread and all them again, and I'm like, and Butt Boy, and, um, you know, uh, <laughs> Uncle Peckerhead. Like, this is up there for me in that category. So this is one I will absolutely be recommending, especially to anybody that loves, like, good thought-provoking science fiction that doesn't really hold your hand and doesn't really provide you all the answers. You like those kind of movies, you're going to enjoy this. Keep in mind, it's a little bit lower budget, but, I mean, for the most part, you don't really get any negatives from that lower budget except for a couple of green screenshots. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend it. I can't wait to see what my dad thinks about it because this is his jam. And I was left thinking like, what if and what does that mean? And, uh, you know, <laughs> and it's even one of those situations where Mary was watching it and she's like, man, there's some things I would have liked to have done in that situation. You know, so it has a lot of that. What would I do? Kind of cool stuff going on as well. So that's also uh, very much appreciated and enjoyed in these kind of films. So Oh man, so, okay, anyways, I got a thousand videos to make today, so I'm trying to hustle. But yeah, no, uh, if you like hard sci-fi, you like questioning things, you're gonna like this movie. That was awesome. And uh, I, I forgot to try the ice cream and the drink beforehand, so we're gonna actually do that tonight. So <laughs> we didn't do it with the movie, but um, yeah, that was a really good time. I'm so excited we watched it. And I'm excited we watched it on a huge system, so it had almost a bit of a theatrical vibe for us, so that may help as well. But yeah, do yourself a favor. This is another great one. Check it out. It's right up there, man. Thank you, Epic Pictures, for another great freaking movie. And I, I had a feeling when I saw that trailer that was going to be my kind of jam, and it absolutely was. That's my thoughts on Doors. Definitely check it out. All right, so as usual, first and foremost, thank you, Dread and Epic Pictures Group, so much for this nice birthday treat. What a surprise. Thank you for the snack, the cocktail, and most importantly, the movie, which I can only imagine is fantastic. I'm filming this before I see it. I don't know. It, it looked great. The trailer looks so good. I'm real excited for it. And of course, thank you everybody else. Comment below, what did you think? Have you seen this movie? Are you gonna see this movie? Are you excited for it? Um, let me know, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Definitely geek out in the comments below. You can also click the thumbs up button, give me that good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And of course, you can check out the join button for YouTube memberships. I mean, it's my birthday after all. And of course, if you want a cheap birthday gift, I got the link to Patreon down there. It's a dollar a month, it's an extra video every day. It's a steal of a deal. 
Like, it's a ton of content for a dollar a month, and you support the crap out of me. I really appreciate it. And, of course, we have the merch store down there with my face all over all kinds of stuff. Get your Consume merch or, or your Hard Eyes merch. That's still up there. I never took down the February merch. And a lot more. And, of course, we have the Discord invite. So come on over to the Cool Peeps party. Love to see you there. But all that said and done, I got to get out of here because I got to get work done so I can watch this movie. So I will see you all later. Later.